Hello. Today's video I will be redrawing this adorable character designed by N. Nanana, a freelance concept artist and graphic novel writer. Please check her out, links will be in the description. This is Mari, back again with another speed paint. A few months back the Draw This In Your Style challenge emerged on Twitter and Instagram bring a flurry of artists recreating each other's works in their personal styles. It was very inspiring to see so many unique coloring techniques and beautiful styles. Today I want to try this challenge in a few of my most used art styles. My paper cut line less style, my flat cartoon style, and a more detailed manga style. While doing so I'll talk a bit about tips in developing your own style, I hope they'll inspire you to draw more. Take a drink every time I say style in this video. Firstly you don't have to constrict yourself to one art style. While typically you'll recognize an artist for one specific look, there's no rules that say you cannot create different looks and explore. My second tidbit is one I'm sure you've heard from a lot of professional artists, don't stress yourself out trying to create a style. It's something that will develop on its own with practice and experience, you won't change overnight but you will change with time no matter what. Think of an art style like a style of handwriting. Everyone's is naturally a little different based on how they hold a pencil, what they're writing with, what they're writing on, and so on. What you find comfortable will factor into your art style, and it'll grow into something beautiful. That being said however my third tip is if you want a specific style you have to practice things you like. Your art style is a combination of your craft and interests. Be inspired, watch your favorite shows or movies, read comics from your favorite artists, play video games, and study the things you enjoy the most about those medias. Pull things from different art styles to incorporate into your own. If you love characters blushing in manga, draw that in your art. If you're a huge fan of sneakers, draw your characters with chunky sneakers. If you love an artist's thick line work, draw thick lines. I like to draw clamp style wings in my art, or draw big angled eyes, like Legend of Zelda characters, or I'll paint with highly saturated colors that remind me of my favorite 90s cartoons. By combining several of my favorite elements, I can create a style on my own. It feels a little obvious to say this, but explore how you create. If you're a digital artist, try drawing more traditional media such as watercolors, markers, pastels, or colored pencils. You'll find each media needs its own way of working. For example, watercolors typically work best light to dark building up color. While markers you can start anywhere but your hand movements can affect the consistency of the marker on paper. If you're a traditional artist, try drawing digitally, even if it's on your phone with your finger or a mouse and clip art. Many programs now try to imitate traditional art techniques, but you can explore a lot with copy and pasting or creating new brushes you couldn't do in real life to make hatching easier or to add shapes to your work. Make sure you're having fun and bring anything you enjoy into your everyday art style my next tip is a little controversial, but ask your favorite artists for advice on achieving a specific look. Not every artist has time to get back to you, or not every artist likes sharing their trade secrets, but it never hurts to try. Sometimes a specific brush or texture can change everything. Ask your favorite artist what materials they use. Check if they have a FAQ on their website or if they make YouTube videos explaining their processes. This next one is kind of optional but when you're drawing think about what you're trying to do or say. Is your art meant to make people cry? Is it supposed to be funny? Do you create art to tell people things? Or to make people happy? To make yourself happy? Your intentions factor into your art style, artwork can convey a lot of feeling or none at all. A lot of the mood you're working towards can be visible in the way you draw, sometimes you can push your style more with your mood. Add action lines to be dramatic, or draw soft stars and hearts to accent a romantic mood. 
You could draw very scribbly to make it more comedic, or draw thin and elegant to suggest a calmness. <laughs> My favorite thing about different art styles is the variety and the feeling of creating different styles. By this I mean, some art styles it is easier to draw and convey ideas. For example to draw a face realistically requires a lot of shading and understanding of light and anatomy. But to draw a cartoon face all you need is two dots and parentheses to understand it's a face. Experiment with things to find what works for you. Some things are easier to draw in simplistic styles, or relating back to the last tip, some emotions are more easily conveyed with a more graphic style, or some backgrounds are easier to create in certain styles, try to make your art easier and more enjoyable to create. Overall create things you enjoy first, and people will come to enjoy it too. Going back to that second tip don't stress yourself about it. An art style, in a form of your self-expression, and will create itself naturally no matter what. Good luck drawing in your styles. Let me know if this computer-generated voice is annoying or creepy. I think it's funny, but if it bugs you I'll see about dubbing over my videos. Which of my art styles was your favorite? I cannot decide. I like the end result of all of them. Thank you so